Thank you, thank you. Uh, we are in Washington, D.C. with uh, Nay Mel. Welcome. Hey, nice to be here. <laughs> great, great. Uh, you're a private lessons member for a number of years uh, now. You're nearby D.C., right? Uh, yes, uh, I am. Okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, we only have a few minutes, but I know that your career is just amazing. Performing, uh, producing great music. Uh, teaching manuals as well, right? I uh, love teaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, and you've I been teaching forever too, right? Yes, um, I've been teaching since. Uh, well, in fact, yes, since seventy-five wow. for a long time. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. You're originally from uh, Brazil. From Brazil. Yeah, exactly. beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, country. I've been to Manaus. There, oh, Brazil. really? Yes, oh, yes, yes, fantastic! Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from in Brazil? I'm from way south, the other extreme, from Porto Alegre, which is like close to Argentina. Yeah. Your um, beginnings are class. You were classically trained, am I right? I did have an awesome classical teacher in Brazil called Eustáquio Grillo, who actually uh, taught me the um, uh, fundamentals of that discipline. And as far as the other part of playing guitar with a pick and all the other styles, there was nobody around. So those were the stone ages, you know, even here. So um, I, I am self-taught that way. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, you you have been. Uh, actually credited as uh, one of the people that developed this, um, what do you call it, economy? Uh, yes, uh, well, well, yeah, it, it, it's true. Though in those days, um, there was no um, media like today. So we had to develop these things on our own. So some of us developed them in different continents. And uh, later, it became more widespread. But yeah, I, I developed because it made more sense to me to pick that way. It's just something that seemed logical from a physics standpoint. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so it contributes tremendously to, to your ability to... Yes, uh, exactly. Technical... Uh, yeah, it shortens the pathway between the, the pick and the note. In fact, it shortens by about half. And so you can do things uh, like saxophone players do or um, uh, piano players do in terms of legato playing. Oh, on the same, in the same vein, you actually have a, a DVD that's out. Is it out already? Yes, it's been released. Uh, it's called Maximum Speed Picking with Name Mello, and uh, it covers. It's only about the right hand entirely. It's about three and a half hours long, entirely right hand picking. And uh, it's the first one of its kind, actually, that, that addresses it, because people kept asking me questions and questions, and I couldn't explain it in prose, you know, in terms of writing. So it has to be shown in three-dimensional way to a three-dimensional medium, because the right hand is very complicated for the pick, uh, more so, I would say, than the classical right hand. For me, it was, anyway. And it's, it's in a way it's simple, but the m movements, the combinations are kind of mind-boggling. So it's, it's a lifelong study. That's fantastic. Tell me, how, uh, how can one obtain uh, this? You can obtain this DVD through Amazon.com or through AbstractLogics.com. And, and give me the name again of the product. Oh, the, the DVD is called Maximum Speed Picking with Name L. Bravo. Yeah. Uh, this is this is fantastic. I'm so glad uh, uh, that you were able to come and uh, and to visit, it's uh, and it's uh, quite an interesting area that you're working on. And yeah, I wish you much much success. I know you play a great deal, perform. I, right? I do. I do. I play. I produce records, and uh -huh. you know, I act as a guest soloist. All these things. Very nice to meet you in person. And if you want to play out this segment, uh, oh, okay, here. sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 